Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cities Skylines. Today we are in the city of Crater Lake and we are going to be expanding out this section of the city. Now this is a pretty ambitious project and it's something that I'm actually pretty excited about. I've been playing around with this for a while and so we do have a few things that we need to do first. We really need to level out a lot of this land and then what I want to do is actually have a couple artificial islands out here. I think that this is really going to help capture a fun look in here. So this is definitely some more tedious work. What I'm basically going to do I'm going to grab our level terrain tool. I'm going to grab this height right here. I'm going to follow this all the way down. And the reason I'm going to do this is because I want to create a waterfront. Once we have the waterfront, we are then going to move up into the hill. This is probably going to be a multi-phase development. I'm thinking one to two phases. What we're going to focus on today is the islands as well as a pretty large transportation system and network for this area. And then what I want to start doing is crawling up the hill. I really want to, I've been looking at a lot of cities for inspiration for this. Um, the big one's really been San Francisco. San Francisco is built on a peninsula that is very hilly. And it, you know, one of the things that it's known for is having insanely steep roads. And some of them are actually kind of fun. You know, they have uh, some trolleys and stuff that you can go down on those really steep roads. It's, it's definitely a fun city to visit. Now what we're going to do, we are going to level this out. And basically what that did is it's created a zone for us to be able to bring this road all the way around. So we are going to use the picker mod. We're going to grab that road since I really like the look of this road in this area. And we are going to wrap this road around and we want it to kind of follow along. Looks like we're going to be, we're going to have to come back and kind of level a lot of this. I'm not too worried about it, but we're going to go like right about here. And when I was thinking for this transportation line, I really want to get a tram line in here, but I think we're going to do a sunken tram line. I want to get some key walls kind of straddling the tram line. And I think it's going to create a really kind of fun look. So we're going to come over here. Let's go ahead and grab this node and let's just make sure that it is the same height as this other one. And it does look like we were playing with tree anarchy on. So we have all these trees in there. It's not really a big deal right now, but we may need to come back and uh, play with the roads to make sure that those get fixed. That would be kind of a you know bad thing to have. You, you probably wouldn't want to have trees in the middle of the road. I could see that as, you know, being unsafe. Now that we have that, what I want to do, we, I want to build a couple islands out here. We need to get kind of crazy with it. It's definitely going to cause a little bit of an issue, but what we're going to try to do is cause as little of an issue as possible. So I want to have this kind of come out here. So we're going to go out about one. We're going to go out like right here. And then I'm going to go out like right here. And what I'm going to do is go back to that initial road. And we're going to use the parallel tool on here. We're going to come all the way down. I think we'll probably even start it right there. I don't think I need to go any further. We'll go like this. And then we will probably end it right there. Let's go ahead and hit tab. And we're going to hit that plus sign all the way until we get this line in the middle of this node. And what that's going to do is tell us that the road is equal distance going all the way down, which is really important for us. And so now what we're going to do, I want to come out here and we are going to follow along here just a little bit. So if we go right here and then come ahead, come out here and then follow this down to like right there, what we can do, let's actually use a rural road for this. We don't need to have a paved road. We're just kind of wasting money at this point. So we're going to go like that and we're going to grab a curved road. We're going to come out one and we're going to go out one. And we're going to go out one and we're going to come back one. And what I'm going to do with this, we're going to go into freeform. I'm going to have this bulge just a little bit. We don't need to get crazy with it just a little bit. And then I'm going to line this up with that. And we're going to go back into the curve tool and we're now going to match these up. It kind of looks like they're a little bit off in distance. So I don't think we're going to be able to go out one. So we're going to go like right there and then I'm going to come this way and I'm going to match it up. Perfect. And then let's go into the marquee selection tool, grab all those nodes, and we will control H on this road. And so there is our first little island. And so now let's come over here. I want to do the same thing. So we're going to grab that. We're going to go back into the freeform tool. And we're going to follow this road just a little bit. We're going to come out here and don't worry about any sort of uh, changes in your road height right now. We're going to come back and kind of shift it all around. So I'm really not worried about it. And so now we have our first two islands, which is really cool. They're actually uh, pretty spacious too, which is really important. We definitely would want to leave enough buildable area to make it worthwhile to build these islands because otherwise they'd be spending millions kind of dredging up the land and getting rid of the water and it would just create kind of more of an issue than solve anything. So now that we have that, we're going to get kind of crazy over here. And so what I'm going to do, we are going to draw this out. I'm going to do a little island kind of protruding out and then I want to have an island back here and I want to have a centerpiece in the middle. Okay, so after quite some time and a lot of flooding, we can finally move on and start working on our road layout. And so a couple things that I want to do, I really want to create a centerpiece in here 
But then I also want to create a transportation hub because I really want to do that sunken tram line following along this road. And so let's actually draw that in first so that we can kind of get an idea of what we're working with. So we're going to utilize a tram only road and we could utilize a, a pedestrian road. I, I really don't think we're going to need to do that. Um, the tram only roads do allow people to still use them as paths. So I think uh, that's going to be adequate for our purpose. So now we are going to come over here and we want to go like right about here. And then what I'm going to do is using the movement mod, we'll grab all those nodes and actually sink them down to an appropriate level. And you can kind of see we're getting a little bit of water. We're just going to have to let this play out so that the water disappears. But I think that that's probably about the distance and depth that we're trying to go for. I do want to be, it to be able to have a road go over it. But I'm thinking that the road's going to go up the hill, so I don't think it needs to be too deep. And the reason, again, why we're doing sunken is because I really want to get another road. I want to probably extend this a little bit further, because otherwise we could just have it at grade and it would probably be okay. So now we will go ahead and sneak this all the way down, and I'm going to go ahead and force ground piece. And I want to follow along these, about the fourth square going all the way down. And once we get over here, what we want to do is we actually want to sneak it up over here and then raise it up to a level grade. I think that's probably good. And then we can actually just grab this and control H right there to make sure that it is the exact same height. And so now we have a perfect little sunken tram line in here, which I think is fantastic. And let's actually uh, bring this out just a little bit further so that we can see a little bit better what we're working with. So we're going to grab the level terrain tool. We're gonna right click right here. And we're gonna bring this back just a smidge, probably about like right there. Yeah, I think that that's probably good. Just enough to get a road and then probably a little bit of zoning back there because I really wanna capture a cool look in here. We do need to be mindful of this hill. It's definitely something that is gonna be a, a bit of a challenge. And if this were real life, I really don't know if the city would spend the money to grade all this. This would just be an astronomical amount of money to be able to take out this hillside like this. Anyways, I think that is good right there. And so now we can grab our road, sneak it around, and we want it to come out like right about here. And so I was looking at a lot of bigger buildings that we could put in here. And it was actually kind of uh, coincidental. I had stumbled across one of the new stadiums and I realized that we hadn't utilized any of these big stadiums here. Do we need another stadium? Probably not. We have two really large stadiums in the city. So we have this Olympic stadium that we did a while back whenever the city actually hosted the Olympics. But then we have this secondary stadium as well. It was also a part of that Olympic kind of push. And so putting in a third stadium, I was like, you know, would the city do it? Is it very feasible? I'm not really sure. And I even grabbed one that I thought was going to look really cool. So we could probably put this in here and have it be a really fun centerpiece. But I do have a lot of other buildings that we could just as easily use for really nice centerpieces. So we're going to go in here and we're going to go to ploppable and we're going to go to unique buildings and we're going to kind of scroll through here and just see what we got. So what I was thinking is we could utilize this building right here. So it is a cultural complex in Baku and I think it is an awesome looking building. I really like the architecture of it a lot. I've been kind of sitting on this building for quite some time. So what we're going to do, we're going to use a road and bring this down just so that we can kind of see what we're working with. Let's go back to that building and place it down and look at this thing. I love the overall architecture and I think it's going to really fit in well with the kind of modernist look that we're going for with this build or at least that I'm going for. So we're going to grab this and we want to kind of center it off this backside. Well, we want to try to get it down as far as we can. So it's a nice little centerpiece and then we will grab our road again let's go ahead and go off to the side turn on snapping we'll go right here and then come up and then we're going to do the same thing on this side so we'll go right here and then come up and let's go ahead and connect this up now we'll go like that all right so what i want to do for the rest of the design is actually utilize some curves for this section this can be kind of tricky so what we're going to do we're actually going to utilize a roundabout in here first so we're going to grab this we're going to place the little piece use the roundabout builder and we want to kind of match this to that outside section. So we're going to go like that and then we'll grab all of the nodes in here so that we can kind of shift it around and get it right in the middle. So we'll grab this, move it in, and then we could have even made it a little bit smaller, but you know, it's not the end of the world. We're going to go ahead and leave it like that. And then that way, what we can do, we can come up this way, go straight and then begin to curve this. Yeah, that stays pretty good right there. And then it actually allows us to continue this straight and then have this kind of curve the opposite direction. So we'll go like this. And then what we need to do is go into movement mode and kind of shift this around just a bit. And so another way that we could do this, we could have this kind of wrap around the other direction or even get rid of this connection. 
like say we get rid of this and so i think that looks pretty good i ended up removing that one little section because having those connections that close just didn't look as good i don't think and so what we want to do we want to kind of mirror that a little bit on this side yeah, i think that looks pretty interesting we're probably going to leave this little space empty i do kind of wish that these connections were a little bit better so if we grab those and just kind of swoop them in. I think it's going to look a little bit better. So if we grab that, I think it just provides a, a little bit better of an aesthetic than the other way. I do kind of wish that this one was a little bit better of a match. You can tell it's a little off. And so now I'm going to go into node controller and holding alt. I'm going to open up the offset for that one side. And I do use a different version of node controller than a lot of other people utilize. Um, this is the original version. And I, I've been told it's actually a lot harder to learn took me a little bit longer to learn there's a performance hit that comes with the other one that um, I had found out a long time ago it may be better now but I had stopped using it at that time and so uh, the other one is a little bit user more user friendly though so if you're new to using node controller the the version the renewal version is a lot easier to kind of get used to all right so now that we have that we have a roundabout we have our couple little sections we have this open section in the middle let's go ahead and start working working on this back section so if we grab this, let's have this kind of follow along this curve. Perfect. And for some reason we are in a one way. And so I do want to have this kind of curve off as well. Probably about the same space. I'm thinking like right about there. And you know what's so funny? I actually forgot that we were utilizing these roads. So these roads are, I mean, I really like the look of them because of the sidewalk. So we're actually going to change over to these roads now. So we're going to grab this now and we need to have this bi-directional. We're going to have a little bit of an issue with this too because people coming in they're going to have to really take a wide turn what we can do using node controller again just open that up quite a bit now we have upgraded those roads let's go ahead and fix these connections since this would not be ideal that already looks a lot better let's see if this area this side's having the same problem yet is so there's a node in there I'm going to remove that node and then i'm going to go ahead and remove that as well and then we can go into node controller and just open up the whole corner just really stretch it out i really don't we don't need to do that one side though bring these back go like that perfect and then it does look like we still need to kind of shift it around a bit you can see it's just kind of weird yeah there we go perfect and then let's do the same thing on this side using node controller all right that's pretty easy now we got some pretty clean connections we got this one kind of curving off which i think looks really nice and then i think what we're going to do we're just going to connect these up so we're going to go straight across let's go ahead and connect this up in the same area we'll go like that and then let's go ahead and have this go like right here. And then we'll probably have it connect up with that same kind of connection. And then we just need to do the same thing here. Kind of clean this up real quick. And voila, we already have our connections coming in. This is actually looking pretty cool. I like the design. It's definitely unique, but I, I really like the curves. We're going to do a lot of kind of shared space in here. I have something fun uh, planned for these. Like I think we are going to do a road across, which could be kind of difficult. Maybe just for this one we will. Yeah, there we go. And then we probably could do the same thing for this one because those connections are a little too close. I think maybe we'll just uh, forego that. So let's go ahead and bring this up and we'll go ahead and leave that like that for now. And so the reason I left a lot of space is because we really want to get a nice clean look in here. So we're going to go ahead and bring this across and we're really not prioritizing traffic volume or speed with these. I know that those are two of the main points of uh, transportation planning and traffic engineering, but we are not going to be focusing on them as much. What we're going for is creating a sense of place. We really want to generate wealth. We, we want people to feel safe walking around. We want a lot of people to come down here. What I'm going to do is probably just follow around the outside and then do a simple grid pattern in here. I'm not gonna have them fully connected though. I'm probably gonna do more of a fused grid. I think that that would be a nice touch. So if we grab this, go straight, and then let's go into our curve tool and voila. So we have created a little bit of space around the outside. Let's go ahead and connect this up. Let's connect that up. And then what we'll do is go ahead and bring this down. Nice, and then I'll just do the same thing on this side. Okay, so we have the majority of our grid layout set. Now we need to start filling in some buildings. So. We would definitely want to get, we have a pretty decent demand for residential, so we would want to have some residential expansions down here. These would probably all be condos, high density, even townhomes, but they'd all be um, in high density buildings just to maximize the, the area. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to start designing this transit hub. And so the first thing I want to do, I want to utilize our tram depot hub that we had gotten with the recent updates. And so we're going to bring this like right about here and i want to make sure that that's level right in the middle yeah it is perfect and then what's what this is going to do is create a nice little space in here for us so we do want to utilize some more tram roads we definitely want to create a, a little bit bigger of a stop in here rather than just that one so we're going to go ahead and grab this and bring it all the way across we're going to do the same thing on this end we want to be mindful of the square spacing so you can kind of see 
One's got two squares and the other one's got three, so we want to redraw that one in. So we're gonna go right about there, but we need it to be straight. And so now we can upgrade those to, let's actually do pedestrian tram roads going all the way through here if I know what I'm doing. So if we go back into trams, let's grab a small two unit pedestrian tram road. I'm thinking this one right here, I like this one with the sandstones. We'll go like this. Let's go ahead and turn this whole section into a pedestrian road. Cause then we really just prioritize the uh, pedestrians on here, which is gonna be a really nice touch, especially it being the our kind of city core. So we'll go like that, and then we'll go ahead and bring this all the way back as well. So now there is access going down. This will just be uh, for pedestrians, basically. Now we need to hook up our tram road. Let's go ahead and bring this down. And I think because this road right here is kind of at an angle, what we're going to do, we're just going to bring this down, and then we're going to turn it like that. And then we can utilize the slope tool in here. Grab this, go all the way down here, and just hit that slope. What we're looking for is something around like a 3% grade. Now we have connected this up. We could connect these ones up as well, but I think by leaving them like that, it's good enough. And so it leaves enough room for us to kind of decorate this and to do something fun as well. So we have Metro and Tram. We could add in a bus. I don't really think it's necessary though. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to utilize a couple small plazas. Let's go ahead and use these purple ones. What we're going for here is a bit of symmetry. That's why I'm placing four of them. We want it to look very similar. I don't really know if I like those. I think we're going to do the purple ones. Purple ones add some nice color too, which is really nice. And there we go. And then that way it actually allows us to do a nice little path too. And I think what we'll do, let's go ahead and do a couple pedestrian bridges in here as well. I think that this would be a nice little touch for this area. So I actually have been sitting on these pedestrian bridges for a little while now. And these ones are actually really cool. I like the design of them a lot. And so one of the ways I'm going to make this functional is by using invisible pathways. And one of the cool things you can do, so what you do is you basically just draw it in with a regular path and then upgrade it with the invisible one and it allows you to uh, make it so that people can actually walk across. So now we have created a nice little pedestrian bridge. And so what we're gonna do, we are gonna grab the standard bridge in here now. And we do need to be mindful of this. So I'm gonna turn off snapping by hitting Control S. Let's go ahead and remove these two pathways first because we're gonna get some weird snapping out of this. And then let's turn off of snapping. So we're gonna go like this, we're gonna go up. We need to get out of unmodded. I'm gonna go like that, we're gonna come all the way across and then we are gonna come down. Go like that. And then now what we need to do is basically just line this up with the bridge. So we'll go like this, line it up. We'll go like that, perfect. Let's shift this over. And then what we can do is grab this invisible ped pedestrian path and upgrade that all the way down. And so now we have a working pedestrian bridge. And we can also replicate it pretty easily too. So we just come across, grab it all, and then copy that, come all the way over here, do the same thing. We wanna make sure that that is in a reasonable position. Perfect, so now we have a couple operable pedestrian bridges, which I think is fantastic. We'll go ahead and shift this back just a little bit. And then let's do a path coming across, connect these up. So we'll go ahead and leave the rest of it for the detailing time lapse. Cause what I wanna do is uh, do some swooping kind of planters with a little walkway in here, and then probably even a couple little um, shopping stalls and stuff, but then we will utilize some wall-to-wall -wall commercial in here. Yeah, we'll go like that. And then that way what we can do is actually copy that. And I think we may, you know, I'm looking at those middle ones. I think if we remove those and just have those kind of on the edge, what it does is create a really fun look in there. Maybe if we even, so if we grab these and put them in the middle, then it creates some room for us to kind of build around them. I'm, I'm thinking either on the outsides or in the middle. Um, go ahead and let me know what you guys think of this, if you guys like them on the outside or the middle. I think that's overall pretty good. So now I want to start putting in some hotels and stuff before we start doing our zoning. So now let's look up some hotels. And I actually got quite a few pretty new ones um, that I think are going to be fantastic little pieces for this area. So let's go ahead and check that one out. This one's a new one that I got. This one actually looks really cool. And I think it being right next to this area is probably a really good fit. And so there's a little pathway over here. It looks like we definitely need to do some parking. So we're gonna do just a small bit of parking in the back. We really don't wanna do a lot, especially since it's right next to the transit hub. What we could assume is anybody who's coming into the city is maybe just taking the train all the way over here. So they wouldn't have to, you really wouldn't need a car. That's really what we're trying to go for. I think that looks pretty good. And then we can do a whole grounds around here too. So like do a fence and then uh, probably do a couple tennis courts. Nothing too crazy. This is definitely a smaller one, but we'd still want it to look, you know, really nice. Okay, so here is a little bit of detailing just to kind of give you guys an idea of what I was thinking for some of these areas. So I put in a little bit of a, a little baby pool with some planters, some cabanas, uh, umbrellas with some little pool chairs and stuff. I didn't really do a whole lot. I did a big rock back here and then a small receiving area for some trucks and stuff. I ended up leaving this here because I want to do some planters and turn this into a big walking space for this area. But I think that's pretty good for our first hotel. So now we can start moving on and 
and really see what else we're going to get in here. So I know I want to get a couple of these bigger ones in here. So let's place this right here and see what we're kind of working with. So this is a pretty large hotel, but this would really fit well in one of these areas. I'm thinking, you know what? I actually, I like that look. What we can do is actually turn it around and have it go right here. I think that's actually going to fit really well. We'll probably even do some small zoning around the outside. So let's look at some of these other ones now. So we have some smaller hotels. This one actually looks really nice. So we could probably do like a row of these ones. No, you know what? It actually doesn't look that good. I was thinking maybe we could do a row and, and turn it into a nice little complex. But So then we will grab a couple of these smaller hotels in here, place them on this side. And we do have a couple really big ones too. Like I'm, I'm thinking this one's just huge. I want to kind of look at this one. I haven't seen this one yet. So this is a pretty sizable hotel. This is almost like a city center kind of hotel complex. I think it's a little too big for what we're looking for. So we're gonna go ahead and do this hotel and it actually has a little turn off in the front. So we will go ahead and place this back here and then leave room for us to be able to kind of connect that up with that road, which I think that would be nice. So we'll grab a two unit road and connect it up right here and then just kind of swoop it in, go like that. Nice, I actually think that, that fits in pretty well. And I'm leaving room around the outside for us to be able to uh, add in some other things. I just want to get some of these big buildings in first. So I know I want to get the Sheridan in. So I think we'll put that right there. And let's go ahead and move this one over. Let's check out this one too, because it looks a little... No, you know what? I actually think that looks good. Especially the Sheridan I really like. I've been wanting to use that for a little while now. And we do have a couple from Thomas 13 to that we haven't utilized, but we've used in other areas. Like in... Uh, Canalville, we really went crazy with a lot of these. So we'll go ahead and put this one back here. So I think this is already turning out pretty good. What I do want to do is get a, some residential in here as well. And I do want to just get some zoned residential in here too. So I, I definitely want to fill in just a couple of these. I'm good zoning on the roundabout as well because this isn't a huge traffic roundabout. This would be more of a traffic calming um, device than anything. And so now let's go ahead and go back into ploppables see if we can place any more unique buildings in here that could really kind of spice this up a little bit more. I don't want to get into any really tall buildings though. I really like to get some smaller buildings in here. So I think this hotel over here looks pretty interesting. Um, I kind of wish, so if we place this over here, I think this is going to look a little bit better and it helps us to capture uh, some different height differences as well, which can really go a long ways to make your city look a little bit better. So we would definitely need to get some services in here as well thinking um, a hospital would be really nice so i'm thinking we're gonna put a hospital in over here this is gonna really help to provide some broad coverage for this area which i think is nice we could probably get away with some smaller services but i felt like the hospital was just gonna be a really nice fit i don't think we need to do as big a one for the fire department and the police department i feel like they'll be able to adequately cover this area so we'll go ahead and go the, do those two and then let's look at some other smaller services. This would be primarily a tourist area, so I don't think we really need to do anything crazy. Okay, so now what I wanna do is start filling in a lot of these spaces. And I was kinda of looking at these curves and I don't know if I like the overall look of this. So I think what I'm gonna do, we're gonna, I think we're gonna switch this around just a little bit. So we're gonna get rid of the zoning off of all this. We may come back and put all this back. I just, I really want this to flow. So when, when I'm looking at this, I want it to look very consistent. And so we're going to get rid of all these buildings and then I think we're just gonna do some straight lines across and we're gonna work with this roundabout a little bit. I think actually for the roundabouts, what we'll do is have them go both directions just because it's gonna make it a little bit easier to kind of understand for these people. So if we go like this and have it go all the way down, that way it's gonna be bi-directional and it's actually gonna help to uh, keep the flow going because especially on this side where we only have the one side, now people can go both directions, which I think is cool. So now what we're gonna do, we are gonna come over here, let's actually go into node controller and turn our nodes back to regular nodes. So I think what we're gonna do, we're going to put this building right over here, and then I'm going to have a road go up the back. So if we grab this now, let's go ahead and have a road just go straight, then that way it's gonna help us to kind of divide this up a bit. We can grab this, Let's actually move that road over just a smidge. Maybe we'll get this and turn this, and then that way we can get a road across, because I really kind of want to split this up a bit. Yeah, I like that. Perfect. I think that actually looks pretty good. And then I do still want to get some zoning down here, because I feel like it's going to be pretty important to have at least a little bit. I don't think we're going to do a lot, but what we'll do is go into zoning adjuster and actually move zoning off of this side, and then that way 
we can put in some residential and it will just pop up on this side, which I think is good. We're actually going to do quite a bit of zoning. So I still want to get some buildings back here, but I think for this section, we're going to end up putting zoning all the way down. We really need to get some residential in here. And then I think for this middle road, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do zoning going all the way across. And then what we're going to do, we're going to have some roads kind of cutting through. We'll probably do a few services and then some parks and stuff to kind of liven it up. So I think that's probably good right there. And then let's go ahead and do a couple roads across. We're going to grab that same road. Let's do one. Let's turn on snapping. Do one right here and then i think i'm going to skip that one so we'll go across this way let's turn on snapping and then what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and put a couple i want to do like a row of hotels going around this side so i'm just going to look for a simple something smaller which this building actually looks kind of interesting let's place this down just to kind of see what it looks like so i actually kind of like this one i think this looks good yeah i think this is a good fit for over here and that way we can just remove a little bit of zoning, not a lot. So I think this building right here is actually going to be a little bit better than some zoning. I really like that. It's kind of like a condo. Be it's very beachy. And so what I'm looking for is kind of a smaller building that we can go all the way around with. So I think maybe even this one could look interesting. So that actually looks really cool. It looks like they're little condos, though. I don't know if that would be the best fit for this area. What I'm looking for is like a small hotel. So I think this actually looks interesting. I think these are going to be like little condos, but we can say that they're, you know, utilized as like vacation rentals or something. Cause then what we'll do is we're going to go all the way around this. And I wanted to create like a piece of symmetry that was going to go. This was something that I got uh, some ideas off of the internet with actual city planning designs. Whenever you have these kind of replicated buildings, it helps to really create a, a fun sense of place. So we're going to go ahead and remove this last one. And I think overall that looks pretty good. And we're going to space it out just a little bit more. And then that way what we can do is get some uh, some parking in there and some stuff like that. I think we're going to do a giant plaza here in the middle, but I think we will still do some sort of building because I feel like just leaving that empty is going to be really kind of um, unfitting. So I think this is going to work out. What we're going to do, we're going to space this out. And this is kind of the main building for this. So maybe we're going to say that this road is uh, actually a part of this complex and we can actually do like a little gate or something. And then that way, this inner side is actually going to be a part of this. Actually, I think that looks really cool. I like the overall look of it. I think it, by them matching up, it looks really good. And then that way, what we could do is something kind of similar over here, or we could just use this as park space. I'm kind of thinking if we can get like a small, something smaller again around the outside, it'd probably look good. So I think this building looks pretty interesting. It's uh, kind of like a roundabout building. It has a curve on it, which I think looks really cool. So we're going to go ahead and go like this. And then what we're going to do is probably have to have a road come through the middle, which I don't know how much I'm a fan of. So if we go like that, let's go ahead and get rid of this road. Let's get rid of the extra node in here that's causing this weird kind of disruption. Oh, it looks like it's actually just going to be node controller. So if I go back here, go like that. And then that way what we can do, we'll just grab this and curve it in. Definitely doesn't look as good as it did before, but um, it allows us to have those buildings, which I think is important. And then that way we can grab another building. Let's try to get just something small in here. Nothing too big something that's going to look good in this space. I think this building looks pretty interesting. We're going to go ahead and squeeze it like right off this backside. And it kind of blends in, gives us a little bit of a kind of architectural feel over here. And I like these two curves. I like that a lot. We're going to go ahead and work with the curves too, with the landscaping. And that's really where these are all going to kind of tie in together. I think we're going to go ahead and turn this into a bike path coming off the backside. I think maybe even move this because I really want to make this really bike friendly. And we're going to do it with dedicated bike lanes. And so I'll probably come back through here and actually do some bike crossings and, and have it kind of wind through here. Probably even go through this area as well, which I think is going to be really fun.
then we just need to come through and basically work with uh, some of these intersections just raise it up so that it's on there and then what we're going to do is probably come through with intersection marking tool and actually clean this up make it look a little bit better rather than just a road kind of snaking across which wouldn't be wouldn't be ideal so we're gonna go like this perfect and then have it come down i think that looks pretty good this one looks like it's a little off no that one's good and this is really where it gets kind of tricky with these where and yeah we're going to come through with node controller and fix that and then we will come through here and let's have this kind of wind around i'm thinking maybe even right next to the tram tracks over here yeah voila there we go so now we have a nice bike path coming down we still need to hook up our tram network as well so we're going to snake this down and i think this overall area is looking pretty good we could do probably a couple more bits of zoning back here I think that this could look pretty good so if we just do some more residential in there again pretty important and we do want to make sure as we're doing these residentials that we're coming through and doing just a little bit of a low density commercial you definitely want to create um, some livability in here and you know you want to have it so that people can walk to the store that's pretty important so if we come in here do the same thing here that way i mean if you need to just run down to the neighborhood market or something you can do it quick and this is uh, something that i mean in america we definitely don't have a lot um, you have like gas stations and stuff that are close but you don't typically have like a larger you know grocery stores or little markets or anything nearby and then we do need to come through here and do some small parks and let's um come in here because of our little bike path we're definitely going to have a little bit of an issue kind of squeezing this in and then i think what we'll do let's go ahead and we're going to have the bike path kind of meander around and we're going to do a big park in here because i think that could actually look pretty interesting so if you do something like this and then have your bike path just kind of go up to it because i mean technically they can still utilize that path yeah there you go and then that way we can come through here and actually remove some of this zoning. So remove that, remove that. That way, so I mean, they can come through here. Bikes would still be allowed on the gravel path. It would just be something where they needed to, you know, maybe slow down since there's other pedestrians kind of walking around. So we're going to now need a couple services, especially over here. Let's unpause so that we can start getting just a little bit of growth in here. So we'll do this and we'll do another one right there. Um, because we haven't done this as a pedestrian area, our services are actually kind of having a hard time reading. So if we go like this and then go ahead and plop down our pedestrian area service plaza. So we'll go like this. Let's go ahead and do it like right here. And of course, it's just outside the pedestrian area. So it went ahead and plopped a new one. So we'll go ahead and go like this. And then let's do that uh, pedestrian area service plaza now. Do this and then have it come in here. I like these buildings, even though it's a kind of an industrial building, I think it still looks good. And so... A lot of times it's not going to ruin your aesthetic. So let's go ahead and do this now. And I actually want this section to be wall to wall residential. I think that that'll be a nice little look in there. I mean, we could even do wall to wall down here as well. I like that we got the bike path in there. I think that, that is an awesome little touch. And overall, I think this area is looking pretty good. We do still need to kind of work with these. I um, have this road coming across. And so what I would want to do, I want to have these first off designated for the marina. And so um, that's kind of the whole point of having this style of build is you're going to have boats. And so we're going to end up doing something similar to this where I have the, the docks kind of come in and just fill in this little backside. We're probably only going to do a couple bits, but we still would want to get them in there. And so now I'm just going to find a couple buildings for us to place down here real quick. So I think these buildings look pretty interesting. These are more of a Thomas 13 TOs um, style of building. And I actually really like them. I think it's a good fit. And then I think we're only just going to do a couple boats on this side. Because you would still have to have um, public access if you were to do a marina. Maybe, but maybe it's just a private marina. Maybe people who stay here can kind of have their boat come in. And so now what I want to do, I want to build... We're gonna do we definitely need to get some sort of road or something over here because you would need to have a road in order to get your boats in otherwise um you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to get them in which could be a really big problem so we'll have this come this way and then let's go ahead and have it just connect up right there and then that way what we can do is actually raise this up and let's turn this section into a bridge over here so that we can get over our um, our little bike path there which is pretty important we just built this city just built you know spent a ton of money on this and then we're going to end up putting a little marina in there and so i think we need to do the same thing for this side let's go ahead and go off the same branch looks like we maybe need to move some of our buildings it actually looks like that one may fit and then that way we can move these again we'll grab that let's go ahead and control h on this one and then let's um check this out so it looks like we're just a little off from that maybe we'll um actually turn this into a bridge piece as well just so that we can get it to kind of look good that was 
gonna bother me if we didn't get it right and that way we can actually get it to bridge over the pedestrian area which is pretty good too nice and then so for these areas i kind of wish that this one was a little more centered this one's pretty centered so i wonder if we could just shift this over even just a smidge yeah, if we go like right there because in that way at least it's going to look a little more symmetrical rather than having that road off i know it's not the end of the world but it still uh, is nice to have it okay so now that the water has flooded we can unpause again let these people kind of figure themselves out we do need to figure out what we're going to do with these sections so i want to have a marina going around and we kind of want to tuck them on this inside so that they get a little bit of a barrier from the wake and the open ocean but I also want to get a couple small buildings in here, something that's going to really kind of match up with what we have going on. So if we go into grow bowls, let's maybe look for something that's going to be like maybe a beach house. It's definitely going to be something where maybe we delete this and have the road go sideways. And then what we can do is have them on each side. And this would be designed as uh, somewhere that, you know, you'd, you'd probably pay dues to go to, but... You'd have your boat out here and this would be kind of like a yacht club or something. Um, you'd probably even have like maybe some special discounted rates to stay at the hotel and stuff like that. So we'll go like this and then let's go ahead and move this in now. I was definitely kind of thinking a smaller building, but I think that looks kind of interesting because then what we can do is just go ahead and copy it and put it on this side as well. And I think it's, you know, definitely going to look kind of good. Again, it's not, not really what I was going for, but so if we go like this, grab that road again, go to force ground, please. Let's move this out just a bit. Go like that. Go back to our road. Have this come this way. And have this come this way. And then we can rotate our building. And I think, you know, it, it's definitely, I think it's going to look good. Yeah, you know what? I think that looks really interesting. And I'll end up coming through in the detailing time lapse and uh, adjusting that. And one of the things you'll notice, um, we only really have one road coming in here. And that's because we are definitely going to be prioritizing um, transit for the section. But I do want to have our roads go across here, kind of like what I had said before. So we're going to do we're going to have this cut across and then we're going to have it cut across here as well and i think we're going to put some more residential zoning on the inside that's really the goal here we really want to get at least three or four squares of zoning off of this otherwise it's just not going to work out as well all right now we will grab our road and have it basically sneak down i wonder if we can actually let's do a parallel road with this other side so we'll grab this have it come all the way down and then that way we can match it which i think is going to be fantastic so we'll hit tab and then i'm just going to line this up with this like we did with the other road so i think that right there is probably good so we're going to go ahead and hit enter and then let's reconnect up our roads now because i don't think any of them have connected up they didn't so we'll go like this all the way down and then just redraw these in it's not a huge deal so we'll grab this have it connect up now have this one connect up this is really going to help create a really fun look in here we do need to adjust our little bridges though and make sure that uh, that they are allowing enough room for our trams to go through. That would be pretty important. As you can see like this is not the best. So we'll go like that. We'll come over here, probably do the same thing. Go like this, perfect. Do the same thing here. Yeah, I think that's going to work out well. And then we do want to come in here and put in just a couple little neighborhood shops again. We would really want to prioritize the walking distance. That's really how you can um, just generate wealth in your neighborhood. So now let's grab our road and we want this to probably snake up the opposite direction. So let's do a slope. So we'll grab right here, have this come all the way down. Yeah, I think that looks interesting. And then we can grab our road again, meander down this way, and then we'll have a road connect up over here. Yeah, voila. I think that looks good and it's providing a little bit more access which is always good and it looks like we had anarchy on again so let's go ahead and fix that do we have anarchy for this section we did well it's because we did the parallel road kind of wish this one was a little bit better so i think what we're gonna do let's go ahead and just take out this corner a little bit and then we can redraw this in just kind of curve it in a little bit better so if we go back to our road and then go to freeform we should be able to just curve this in yeah line it up yeah that's gonna look a lot better that way we can even connect this up as well. We'll go straight and just, we'll probably leave this uh, dead end for right now. We're going to end up working on the rest of this um, over the next couple weeks. But I think this is looking pretty good. We have some zoning in here, but for some reason it's not really coming in. I wonder if we need some schooling over here. Let's go ahead and check out our schooling. So we have quite a bit of elementary and high school. The problem is, is it's way over here. So I wonder if we could get just a small schooling compound we really wouldn't want to do like a huge one but i'm thinking maybe even this section right here next to the tram line this could be interesting 
So if we do, let's do a small road in and we'll probably just do a little square. We'll do like this and then we'll turn this into a little park and let's actually turn that into a pedestrian road. Now we'll, we'll keep it like that. Let's do high density or the high volume high school and we'll do the high volume elementary. We'll go like that and then let's add in some of our parks. So we always wanna have the playground. So we'll grab the playground. Let's go ahead and put the playground right there and then let's shift over our school just a little bit. I don't think we need to do a lot. We just need to get it a little bit over. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And then that way let's do our sports hall and gymnasium because we always wanna get that in there. And then let's shift this over just a bit. Go like that and then utilize a one unit road. Have this come in and then have it follow this, and then probably just have it curve in. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. That's adequate. And then that way we can do a couple of small basketball courts back here as well. I still need to reinstall the, the European suburbia. That's why we're kind of missing a lot of those buildings. And then I think in here we can do one of our pedestrian plazas, which I think will look good. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks pretty interesting. It has a little bit of room on the sidewalk, but I think it's a pretty good fit. Overall, I think this is a nice little build. And so we got the residential coming in there. We have schooling now we need to work on these two middle sections and i know i definitely want to get some more zoning in here so we're going to fill these in and i want to get some office space in here as well even though we really don't have a huge demand for office space right now so we'll go like that and then let's put in just a couple small hotels as well or larger ones if we can even fill in these spaces so i decided on a couple apartment buildings in here and we're gonna make this into a full little apartment complex but i do want to get some other taller buildings in here and then we're gonna have that this is high density residential Decided to put a big commercial building in here. We're gonna do a plaza in the back. And then back here, I decided to do just some smaller kind of, uh, maybe these are homes or condos, something along those lines. Maybe we'll bring this. Looks like our road is actually a little off. So maybe we'll grab this and have it control each right there. Let's go ahead and do the same thing here. Just cause I think it's gonna look a little off. So if we can even just raise this up, yeah, if we go like that, that way we can just kind of move these around. And then we'll probably have a little grounds for that. We'll probably do another plaza in here. Or even, you know, maybe we can do some small offices and we'll kind of see what comes in and then um, kind of get rid of them if we don't need them. And so for this side, we'll probably end up doing the same thing. I'll just utilize a couple, maybe small condos or something like that, maybe like real beachy assets. So we'll go like this. I think this one probably looks good. This one's definitely a little older. It actually kind of looks Victorian almost. So maybe we'll find another better building. All right, so what I ended up doing was extending, I made these two separate districts and we can kind of see the names. So we have Thornton Park and we have Hamilton Hills. And I went ahead and did wall-to-wall -wall residential, wall-to-wall -wall commercial, and wall-to-wall -wall office for both of them. And what I was thinking, I went ahead and did high-density residential in here and then low-density commercial just to get some of those wall-to-walls in. And then what we'll do is just add in a few more buildings. I really don't want to get too crazy with this side. But what I'm thinking, if we go ahead and do like a chain of these condos off this backside, I think it's going to create a really fun look. Have a form of symmetry in here and then to uh, kind of tie it all in together. Because I definitely want to have some waterfront in here as well. And we're going to do a little bit of a marina as well. So we'll go like this. And we'll probably go like this. And I think what we'll do, let's go ahead and remove these. Move one of these. Let's actually remove the two on the side. So we'll get these ones. And then we'll let this grow in. And we're going to do a little marina off the backside. And so I think this is already looking pretty good. We do need to kind of fill in some of the spaces. We still have some residential that's not really coming in. You can kind of see, I mean, this building is. This building does not really fit. And I think this is uh, one of our residentials we definitely need to do a district in here to uh, kind of limit what's going to grow in here so if we go like this go all the way down because what happens is if you don't have it specified for a certain building type if you have a bunch of assets installed then what will happen is all of those assets just kind of come in so i think we're going to do um self-sufficient because i really like the look of them i think they're really nice buildings and i think this is going to look good i may come through and put in some taller buildings in here mixed in with these because I think it's going to really help to provide a, a nice fun look in there. And then I think even for this backside, maybe if we do wall-to-wall -wall commercial, I think that could be good. So we'll get some wall-to-wall -wall commercial, but then we'll get some high-density kind of self-sufficient buildings in there. All right, so now what I want to do, let's go ahead and hook up our tram line. We have not hooked it up yet, and this would be a huge issue. So we're going to come in here. We're going to have it come all the way down. And then we're going to have it connect up over here. And then have it come all the way down here. And so my goal for... This lower section is actually to add in a few stops down here as well. So we'll probably do a stop right there, stop right here, and then we'll come over here and do a stop right here, and then stop right there. And then what I'm gonna do is add some access, probably with some pedestrian bridges that come down, and I wanna actually do some stairs 
and I'm gonna do a retaining wall, probably even a key wall in here, kind of covering this in. Cause I really like the idea of the look of it. I'm really going for like a, a fun look with this. But overall, I think this is already looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into a detailing time lapse, kind of finish off those little sections, fill in these little blanks, make it all kind of come together, make it a little more cohesive. And so I hope you enjoy. I will catch you on the other side.
Okay, so after many hours, I have finally finished. This actually took me um, about like six days just because of work and having to balance everything. And I'm actually really proud of it. Some of my best builds, I believe, are in here now. And I know I've said that quite a few times, but I put a lot of time into some of this stuff. I definitely, you know, drank some coffee and stayed up super late quite a few days. Um, I don't know what this building is doing here, but this is one of the things that I'm probably most proud of. Um, I put, you know, I took a lot of inspiration. I looked at a lot of hotels online. And I've been to quite a few hotels where I just kind of, you know, roam around, especially being from Las Vegas, you kind of get to see how a lot of these resorts are kind of uh, situated. I did hedges going all the way around, and then I did a curb kind of going up against the hedge with these little bushes, and I really think it helps to accentuate the separation. I also did a fence going around the outside, and overall, I think this looks really good. I did de decals in here with some fountains and then a couple little planters as well, and then parking, some more hedges around the backside. I really like this resort a lot. I am. Um, I think this looks really cool. I've done a lot of these with like the cabanas and stuff like in Canalville. We did quite a few of these and I even did some with like some pool clubs and stuff, but I didn't really focus too much on the separation, like with the decals and doing little cabanas and everything. You can kind of see where some of the decals are changing directions, but overall, I really like the look of it. Um, go ahead and let me know what you guys think of this. I think it is just fantastic. And the detail really just continues from there. So I did a lot of planters over here for our Sheridan. I did a bunch of planters going all the way around. I did another little pool area again with that um, hedge kind of curb look appeal in there. And then I did add in our marinas. And because of this, I decided to do a seawall over here just to kind of shield these tube docks off this backside. And I felt like it was just going to be a little more realistic like that. Um, for our area over here, so just something really simple, some more planters, a couple little things around the outside. I did do a little food court kind of plaza in here. And I was kind of playing with the idea of maybe uploading some of these plazas that I do onto the Steam Workshop so that you guys could place them in your own cities. But let me know if you guys would be interested in that. And so continuing on to our main centerpiece, got a little crazy with this. I did an elevated platform in the middle and I think it looks really cool. It's got some decals in there and you can kind of see it's in the shade right now, but it's kind of tough to see. I did these planters around the outside as well and I really wanted to get kind of like a geometric shape in here. Then some planters around the outside. I did a big fountain on the back window. I felt like this was going to be a nice touch. And then I added in the trees with these little uh, concrete planters and then the bollards going all the way around just to make it a little safer to kind of walk around here. That's really what our focus would be. And so a couple other touches over here. I did a big kind of entrance way to this big tall building right here. I felt like it was just going to be a nice touch um, fountain going around with a statue. Then because of the look of this building, I decided to do this kind of red brick. I was like, you know what? I think that this is going to look a little bit better because it has a pool on top. I didn't really do anything in the back. I just did some trees and stuff. I felt like, you know, it matched with like the roof tiles and stuff and it looked really good. And so I just, I definitely went a little crazy on this resort as well. Um, I did walls all the way around and then I did those hedges with the double little curb thing. And then I created quite a few pool areas in here. I wanted to have like, you know, maybe they're separated pools. Like maybe this is for, you know, maybe it's like a timeshare or something and you have to be to a certain level to be at this pool. Or, or maybe the pools are really popular and so they decided to just keep expanding them. And so back here I did like a little walking area. I did another pool area here with a lot of seating. Maybe this is like where you can grab some food, come out to the pool, kind of just enjoy the outside weather. And then I decided to do something more natural back here. Like maybe this is a nature walk in between the pools. Uh, again with some more seating and then again another pool area back here I did end up doing some of these street lanterns in here where I did end up doing lights going all the way through and so I'm going to kind of show you guys all that and then I added in a tennis court I really like the tennis courts in the resort areas I think they just look fantastic and so for our big transit hub I did a couple again cu custom food truck plazas and then I used these uh, Copenhagen assets for uh, Metro to kind of plop these down, give it a nice glass roof with some seating for this area. And then we had put the stairs in and moving on, you can kind of see our bike access is going all the way down. I did do detailing going all the way through there for our two islands um, over here. I actually mimicked them and then I gave them both like a giant, like maybe wedding reception areas. So this would be where you could rent out this space for, for maybe like a party or if you did have a wedding or something like that. I felt like it was just a really nice touch, especially for this area. These would be like marina clubs or a boat club, something like that. And so they're both designed right after each other, which I thought was a really cool kind of appeal. I was like, you know what? Weddings are big business, and I think that it just looks really cool. So for our lowered tram area, I ended up doing the the bridges going all the way down. It's kind of funny. We're just we're not getting a lot of people utilizing it. I think because of our metro, they're just choosing the metro over 
the tram looks like we got one person down there which is fantastic i was waiting for a while looking for somebody so for our our bike lane road i did end up messing with node controller in here created a little bit of a light and then changed the texture in here just to let everybody know like hey you know bikes have priority here slow down there is a light so that people wouldn't be kind of speeding through there and possibly hit anybody which could be really dangerous going on to our little islands i decided you know to just play it a little more minimalistic back here i did some trees and then some bushes and stuff and and then back here i did a couple restaurants with some more planters and I had initially placed a lot more buildings in here and then I deleted them all and um, placed down a bunch of residential and I felt like it just looked a little bit better. And then for this island, I did a lot of the same. So I decided to kind of get rid of a lot of what we had going and then turned it back into residential. Um, I ended up doing some planters with some little walking areas back here with these condos. And then I had gotten rid of the building that I put here and decided to do the aquarium. And I did a, a giant parking lot. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of parking lots. These are not pedestrian friendly. But I felt like because it was an aquarium and it's kind of on this island, I was like, you know what, we'll just put in a parking lot. It helps to kind of fill in the space. And then I did trees kind of around the outside and I thought that it looked really good. And so overall, I really like this build a lot. I think that this looks absolutely fantastic, especially this year. I really like how these turned out. My goal was to create an area that looked alive and kind of looked realistic, like especially from above, like you have all this detail in here and it um, doesn't look like just the buildings are plopped down. You know, they're, uh, they had some time put into them. And so go ahead and let me know what you guys think. If you guys are interested again, in those little plazas, go ahead and let me know. I've been kind of thinking about it for a little while. I think it'd be fun to upload some of these, maybe even build some more. And, and then you guys be, would be able to put these inside your cities. And so one last thing that I wanted to show you guys is some of our lights. We're going to go ahead and flip over to night view. And this is actually really cool. So I um, we got this building, which I think looks absolutely fantastic. But I didn't really do any extravagant lights like, lights like we have in Canalville. But I did go ahead and put in some lights for safety along a lot of our, you know, pools and pathways and everything. So that when you're walking around at night, you kind of wouldn't be stuck. I ended up doing lights following our bike trail going all the way down, which I felt like is, was a really smart, smart move. There's a lot of lights for these bollards. I kind of wish that I would have at, used the same bollards for the other side, but I didn't. Because these bollards are lit and I think they look fantastic. They're kind of really bright. But um, they, you know, left this area dark. So I did have to come back through and I placed a lot of lights in here just to kind of light it up. The front of this, though, does have a lot of lights. And so you can actually kind of see this a little bit better now that it's night. Um, this whole raised platform area that I ended up making. Put in a couple lights in there. And then going back over here, I did do a couple lights for our pool areas and our little tennis area. And then I made sure that we had adequate coverage in here. We do have pretty decent lighting. Um, the good thing with the pedestrian roads is they really have some good lighting, especially in just the base roads, especially with these parking lots too. They do a lot of lighting. And so I really didn't need to do a ton. I didn't want to just flood it with lights. I really wanted to just get any of the areas that were too dark and not well lit, kind of like our you know bike path going all the way through. And so I think this looks really cool. I really like the, the night view. If you kind of back out, you can see like with our marina, I ended up doing this purple light going all the way down. And the city's really gotten huge. I, I can't even, you know, it's crazy to think about that I've been working on this city for almost a year and a half. And a lot of you guys have been following me that long. And so I super appreciate it. All right, and so I think that's going to be it. Go ahead and let me know down what you think in the comments down below. Any sort of engagement really helps me out a ton. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, you will definitely enjoy the build where we built out this huge marina. Really fun build. I'll, I'm going to go ahead and throw it up on the screen right now. And so go ahead and click on that and I will catch you guys on the next episode.